guys, it's Professor Puzzle. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Johanna. So, sorry, lighting's not great in here, but we're gonna do a video today. This is me talking. Uh, favorite Christmas movies. So, this is in no particular order at all. But I love Christmas, my favorite time of year. Um, but we're gonna start. So, I have my list, what I have. But, uh, first one, Elf. This is in no particular order. Elf's a great movie. It's basically about a, uh, Elf Buddy the Elf. Who, uh, well, he's a, not an elf, he's a human, but he, uh, he um, is an orphan as a baby. He slips into Santa's uh, sack in the orphanage and he uh, is a pole and he is adopted by one of the elves there. And he has to find his father. And uh, and he's on the naughty list. Spoilers, by the way. It's gonna, this video is going to change for it. So you don't want to watch these movies, but you've probably already seen these movies. But um, classic. And then he tries to find his dad. And hi, and you know, hijinks, like hilarious hijinks, pursue. And he finds his, fa his family. And, uh, yeah, it's a good movie. It's cool. It's funny. It's very funny. Uh, I think, uh, Will Ferrell does a great job as Buddy. So, I think Buddy's, like, a very fish out of water, like, kind of story. I know they did, a, like, an animated version of it. It's okay. But, uh, anyway. Second, Home Alone. Uh, Home Alone 1 and 2. You know the story. Kevin McAllister. The first one is basically about Kevin McAllister, who was, who was in a huge family, huge house. And he doesn't, he, he feels like he's not, like, appreciated in the family and he got he wants his wish to be alone for christmas and he finally he and spoiler, he does get his wish and he i think you know and then you know but he his family leaves him home alone basically what happens and these two uh crooks harry and marv uh one of those played by joe pesci who is in moonwalker actually i think it was a favorite from michael but uh stars macaulay Culkin, uh and he basically has to save the house from uh being robs basically so but it's a classic movie love home alone and i think he learns the real meaning christmas which is family you know he does miss his family which is and his mom is very so hard to get back to him so second one is about um basically he uh, doesn't get home alone but he gets sent on the wrong flight to new york and uh it's a good movie i love it he tries to there's a spoiler there's a a story called duncan's toy chest and they're going to parry Marv back to Rob, and he tries to stop him. And because Mr. Duncan sends all the uh, the money from that register to the Children's Hospital, which is amazing. That's awesome. And uh, I remember the the, the the hotel. And actually, um, oh, uh, what's his name? Oh, I can't think of his name at the moment. Tim Curry plays is in this movie. He also is. Um, um, He's also in uh, Matricia Island. He plays all the children in that movie. He's also in Criminal Minds, which is not a... It was an episode of that show, which is not going to be funny at all. But he's a great actor, classic actor. Uh, he's in that movie. Um, I think there's a cameo by Trump in this movie as well. But uh, love this movie. And then uh, he has to like, fight off the bad guys in this one. I, but classic. I think I like the first one better than the second, but the second one's very good too. My favorite character in the movie is the Pigeon Lady. That's my favorite character in the movie. So... I just love it. It's got a lot of heart. And it's just got a lot of heart in the movie. But it's a classic for a reason. I love Home Alone. Quite a classic. I've not seen the other ones because I've heard they're terrible. But they, I, I think they should really make, like, Tim, like, being older now. Like Macaulay Culkin. But, uh, you know. Uh, Macaulay Culkin and Michael Jackson. If you guys didn't know, they were friends when, they were, when he was a kid. And even as an adult. Um, and uh, Michael was on the set of the second one, I believe. But classic. Um, let's see what else. Um, another one. Uh, this is Disney. Some of these are Disney, some of these not Disney, but you know. But, uh, I should have said the beginning. But, uh, Once Upon a Christmas. It's basically about three stories. Um, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. It's, it's on Disney Plus, you can find it. Um, Home Alone is on Disney Plus. The second one, Elf, is on HBO Max. If you have that's where you'll find it. But, uh, uh, Basically, it's three stories in the, in, the, in the movie. It's animated. I think this came out in the 90s, I believe. But it, the first one is about who we do in Louie, which is Christmas every day. And uh, they find out it's not so fun. You know, Christmas. Same. And so another special we'll figure out this year. Um, and then uh, the second one story is about Max. No, not Max. Um, Goofy. Try to... Max doesn't believe in Santa Claus. And Goofy tries to think there's a Santa. Max and the Goofy, he really shows his heart because he definitely gives a family uh, food and toys that doesn't Christmas. Goofy's a wonderful character. I love, that's why I love Goofy so much. 
and he's a wonderful father to Max. So, the third one is about the Gift of the Magi, which is a, a short story, a actual real short story, um, where Mickey and Minnie don't have enough money to get presents to each other. So, but it's 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 it's, it's really good. It's really, it's a good movie. But I, I haven't seen the second one. Like I said, I haven't seen the second one. So, but uh, love that movie. What else is there? Um, Favor uh, also, The Grinch Stole Christmas. This is probably a number. This is no particular order. Um, I just watched that yesterday, the live action, and very good. I definitely feel bad for The Grinch because the way he was treated. I'm not gonna go like uh, he was basically, you know, made fun of. Spoiler, but the uh, this is the live action one, Jim Carrey, and I think he does a great job in the movie, playing The Grinch, and uh, the set was actually styrofoam. It was actually in on the back lot in uh, uh, Hollywood, the uh, Universal Hollywood tram tour, but it's not there anymore. And the uh, the cars that the Who's are driving are actually over golf carts, basically. That's what they are. But uh, it's a classic movie. It basically learn the meaning of Christmas, which is not. It's not about presents. It's about about the lights. It's all about. The, the heart, the Christmas. It's about giving and love. And I think they realize that. You really can't take away Christmas. That's what the Grinch realizes. And, uh, you know, I love this movie. Classic. Great movie. But uh, my favorite of all... Oh, yeah, I forgot the Pol one more. Polar Express. Uh, Polar Express, good movie. This came out in, like, the 2000s. It's basically a story of this of this little boy voiced by Dara Sabera, who is the... Uh, He's known, he's known for as Juni in the Spy movie, Spy Kids movies, um, but he plays the hero boy. I don't know if he has a name, but Tom Hanks is in this movie. He plays, like, how many roles in this movie? Um, but he doesn't believe in Santa, and they basically go to the North Pole, and uh, it's a great movie. Love it, classic. It's, it's stop motion. I love this movie. It's a, I think it's Robert Zemeckis who did that, but it's a classic movie. I love this movie. It's also based on the book of the same name. Should I remember? I'm recording something, honey. Um... But, uh, sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, my arm's kind of getting tired. But, classic. My favorite Christmas movie is Mother Christmas Carol. And I think it's one of the best... It's one of the best movies ever made, I think. It's a classic. It's a masterpiece, I think. And it's probably one of the better, um, Christmas... Like, the better, uh, Muppet... Not Muppet, but, uh... uh story of, of uh, a Christmas Carol. It's one of the better versions of bits. And it doesn't have the Muppets, of course. It has like Fozzie, it has Gonzo, it's Charles Dickens, um, uh, Kermit is Bob Cratchit, Miss Piggy is Miss Cratchit, uh, Robin is Tiny Tim. That's his nephew. Uh, that's uh, uh, Kermit's nephew, basically. And uh, it's a great, it's a great one. And uh, it's got a lot of heart to it. It really does have a lot of heart to it. I haven't seen it on Disney Plus. Park Express is on. You'll find these movies. Park Express is on HBO Max. Mickey's Christmas. Mickey's uh, Once Upon a Christmas is on um, Disney Plus. But uh, Christmas, Christmas Carol. If you haven't seen that movie, you can watch it. It's fantastic. But I forget his name. Who was in the um, uh, Scrooge? Fantastic job. But uh, all the Muppets are there. Uh, Ralph is there. Uh, even uh, every all of them up to that. It's fantastic. Go watch it. And I love how they use like different. The uh, the spirits are not actual the Muppets themselves, but they're like, like they're not the Muppets we know, like Fozzie and Kermit. They're different. Like uh, the first one is a child. The first of Christmas past is a child, basically. And I love how they oh she's done. She's animated. I think she's very well done. And uh, the second the second one is like a giant, but he can shrink down. And uh, he's very jolly, which I like the second one. And uh, the the third ghost is uh, basically he's like a he's like a he has like no face. He can be kind of frightening. I understand why. He has like long robes, but uh, Scrooge definitely learns his lesson. The songs in that are great. Um, There's kind of one that doesn't really make sense, like the last love we found because they took one song out. Like love is gone. You find the special features on Disney Plus. It's a fantastic movie. Anyway, if you've seen it, I highly recommend this movie. But that's my favorite. Also, uh, these are specials, but uh, Mickey's Christmas Carol, it's the classic version. It's the story of Christmas Carol it's by Mickey, the Disney characters, which we all love. It's Mickey is Bob Cratchit, Scrooge McDuck, Goofy is uh, Marley and um, Jacob Marley. Um, 
Oh, who is uh, uh, Chimney Cricket is the Ghost of Christmas pa Present, Ghost of Christmas Past, sorry. Uh, Willie the Giant is Ghost of Christmas Present, and Pete is Sissy Christmas Future. It's not a movie, it's a short, it's on Disney Plus, but it's a classic. Um, what is this a short? Uh, the small one. Story of like Jesus. I haven't seen that in forever. Uh, Pooh's Christmas Tree is a classic. Uh, Jesus Christmas Tree is a classic. Jesus Christmas Tree is a classic. Jesus Christmas Tree is a classic. But it's a good one. My like Christmas. But uh, there's so many. Uh, also, almost, this is not Disney, but it, Elmo is Saved Christmas. Very underrated, I think. Um, it's basically the story of Elmo and how he saved Santa Claus. You'll find this on HBO Max and, and, and um, YouTube as well. Uh, um, but he basically saved Santa Claus, and his his uh, reward was a, a, a pink bear or a snow globe and has three wishes. And he wishes for Christmas every day. And uh, he finds out that Christmas every day isn't so special. But uh, that I think that's the moral of the story. But it's a good one. But my favorite time of year, uh, I have to say, uh, uh, probably an honorable mention is um, a, a Christmas story. Classic. It's about Ralphie. He wants a uh, 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 like what's that? What he wants for Christmas? That BB gun, basically for Christmas. And it's just a classic story about like childhood or Christmas. It's it's just a, it's just a funny movie. But it's on HBO Max. You haven't seen Christmas Story. It's not my favorite movie, but it's classic. But that's my twist. What are you guys' course, favorite Christmas movies? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. You guys have a magical day. Take care. Peace out, Mickey Jackson. Uh, remember, as Matthew Graeber said, be yourself the person that's very special. Bye, guys. Also, have a have a have a, have a, have a, have a, have a magical holiday. Magical day. Magical Christmas season. Magical holiday season. And uh, Merry Christmas, guys. See you in the next video. Love you. Bye. Bye, guys. Hey guys, I just realized I forgot a movie. Uh, Santa Claus. Classic. It's on Disney Plus. Uh, there's only three of them. It's actually a series which I've not seen. But the story's got, got Calvin and his son Charlie. And uh, he spends Charlie's on one Christmas with his father. And they basically uh, uh, they see Santa on the roof. They, Charlie hears Santa on the roof. And basically they're not Santa on the roof. And now he's Santa Claus. So everything like that. But it's a classic movie. Um, but uh, he doesn't believe Santa. But he becomes Santa. But, uh, classic. Um, also, uh, this is, uh, I forget this is Winnie the Pooh. It's, uh, called, what's it called? It's, uh, the one where Pooh forgets to put his name on a Christmas list. So, Winnie the Pooh and Christmas 2. So, basically, Christopher Robin. Hold on a sec, sorry. It's when Christopher Robin writes a letter to Santa, forgets that the poo for Christmas tries to go back and read Yeah, he basically tries to make Christmas for his friends, and I think it's really cute. I haven't seen it forever, but it's cute. It's a cute special. Uh, All Stars Adventure is a good one. He basically, a wolf wants to find uh, people's traditions for Christmas. And it's on Disney Plus. It has Anna and Elsa and all the all the gang in it. It's really good. Um, Prep and Landing. I haven't seen that in forever. It's basically how they, like, for kind of... But there's so many, there's so many, so many specials out there. So many Christmas movies. But those are my favorites. I think we'll do a part two next year. But, uh, I, I don't consider Frozen a Christmas movie. Because you can watch it every, uh, any time of year. But, uh, there's so many, so many good ones. Uh, like I said, so many Christmas movies. But what did I say? Like, what's your favorite? Let me know. Anyway, see you later, guys. Bye.